Okay, I got some golf clubs here. They're aluminum, but it's got steel in, inside here. There's a steel shaft that goes in here. So what you gotta do is you gotta uh, put a magnet on these because a lot of, some, a lot of them are steel. So the ones that don't stick here, the aluminum. So I'm gonna start stripping these. Hopefully I can get it stripped with this. I couldn't find my pipe wrench. Mm, how the system works. Hmm. Yeah. Actually broke off this one. Broke in there actually. Hmm. I was hoping it would not break. Let's try this one. The problem is these all these ones, people don't want beater ones, they want high end. Those guys who run the ads in a the paper, they want high end clubs. They don't want cheap clubs. I have my pipe wrench, this stupid thing. The pipe wrench is frozen, I got so. It just doesn't grip. Okay, there it is. Why is it loosen up so much? Grab a hammer. Once you loosen it, right? And then you're breaking the bond. We'll tap it out. We just do those to your uh, clubs. So throwing them to the shred. Why is this vice loosen up like that? Okay, there it is. There it is. Stripped. That's one. Another one. I don't know why it broke like that. Another clean aluminum, cast aluminum. Let's try this other one. It's part of here. Set up here, trying to figure it out here. Okay. I guess it's just rubber right now, it's moving. You have to get rid of the plastic there because the plastic is turning to the metal. It's so complicated, this stupid thing. Okay, there. Once you crack it, see that? There it is. Second one. Not 
too stripped completely. Let's try maybe this bigger one here. Some of them might not go. I mean, these look depends on the quality of, of, of them. I guess you know some are cheap quality, some are a little bit better quality. So okay. This one is coming. Most of it came out, but it didn't get out 100%. Some things you might have to take a grinder to it. Some of you might have to take a grinder or just cut it. Might be easier to cut some of them. Everyone's different. Some come out really, really easy. Some are, some are a little bit harder. Out. My yard's not going to care a little about a little bit of metal in there, but some yards are real picky. It's got some screws in there too. Stainless it says on the bottom. Which stainless and cast, I would think. Nobody buys golf clubs down here. I tried selling them at the flea market. Can't get nothing for them. No one even asked. Years ago there was a market. But market just no, not anymore. It's just a rubber I'm dealing with right now. I can rubber up. See if I can just cut that rubber. Make it a little bit easier. off now okay this one might might be easier because it's got reinforced
Still trying to figure this stupid thing out. See, I thought a real pipe wrench might be better. So it doesn't work on everyone, 100%, but... I can put this in. I think this might be better. Come on, stupid thing, why is it turning so much? Is this because the grip is broken on the stupid thing? Well, it's not that great. Try one more time. I can't get enough grip on this thing. You know. So anyways, you got the idea. Some will come off, some won't. Seems like the putter ones are actually pretty good. They're pretty solid. Another putter one here. Let's see if I find uh, vice grips. I don't know, vice grips. Uh, um, a pipe wrench. The pipe wrench just doesn't let go, right? Once it grips, these things are not that great. Okay. Anyways, hit and miss. Some will come off easy. You try, if not, you have to grind. Grind it. You'll grind it here or something. But there are cast aluminum, which is good. They're epoxied in there. You may be able to heat it with a torch. Heat it first, even with a little plumber's torch, heat it, and then unloosen it, because it's probably epoxied in there. That's probably what might be the best bet, and then take it with a good pipe wrench. Okay. Dude, someone got mad on this one, he smashed it, smashed it on something like that. Anyways, that's a way of doing these if you want. But to keep your eyes out for the, these are cast aluminum. You know, they're a little worth a little more than shred, right? Okay.